if you're an engineer working for a consultancy firm, a government agency, a contractor, or even a freelancer, your company probably has a custom title block template that you use. And if you've never interacted with the process of creating a title block, worry not. Instead of reinventing the wheel, um, I'm here to tell you that all you need is two logos, your logo and the client's logo. So let's see how we can do that. Civil 3D comes with its own uh, templates. And also some country kits come with very good templates, which you can tweak and customize to what you want. So instead of creating a title blocker fresh, you can go to the country kit or the templates that are within Civil 3D or the country kits and customize them to what you want. So let's let's go to let's go to our tool space here. You can see our tool space uh, in this drawing, for example. Here, we are at an active drawing view option. If I change this to master view, you will realize that this will show the current drawing here with its properties down there and then data shortcuts. And then down here is something that is very interesting. So here we have the plan and production. These are templates out that are in, in the computer that came with the installation of the computer and some that were brought in during installation of country kits. And if I expand here plan and production, I want to do set of blocks for plan and production. Here I can see there's some templates for prof plan and profile. In Imperial, um, some templates for plan and profile for metric, which I usually use, and different other templates, an array of various templates that you can use. And then interestingly here, down here, you can see some other templates as well that came with the ANZ country kit. And if you do not know anything about country kits, um, there's a video I created about styles, uh, getting styles from country kits. You can look for it, or I will post it at the end of this video. So here are some other various um, templates for plan and production, for producing your plots, for producing your layouts. For example, this layout here that we're seeing here it was probably created from one of the templates that is here. And that template, I uh, will get to look at it. We'll see, we'll see. We'll explore some of these templates. So let me first of all start with the metric template. This metric plan and profile template. Let's see what it's all about. So I click on it and I right click and I go to open. Here I can see we have a title block here, then we have our viewports. Our viewports, we have our, our north arrow here, we also have a skill. So this is something probably that you can customize to your own uh, liking and, and reproduce it as a template, save it as a template. Uh, but I won't deal with this one uh, today. Let me, let me deal with the ones from the country. So before we go to the country kit templates, let's see what is this all about. I will click on that view a viewport. I'll go to control one. And here you can see this is a plan viewport. And this other one, let's see what it's all about. This is a profile viewport. The viewport type here is profile. And here you can even see the annotation a scale and the custom scale standard scale it is one is to one thousand and one is to one thousand so here you have various tabs various layouts it's not only one uh, layout if you can get a different 
layouts with different skills. So what is changing here is the paper size and probably the scale. So here I saw A0, one is to a thousand. A0, probably there's some other, yeah, there's ISO A0 layouts. This is the metric template that comes in default. Immediately you download your Civil 3D and you install it. This template is um, becomes available within your directories and within the Civil 3D files. I want us to explore these other templates that we can customize. Let's see this other template. Let's close this without without uh, changes and let's go to these other templates let's see this other template find this and profile ms bridge plan profile probably this is let's open Close this properties palette here, and uh, as we can see, this is the same set of blocks used to create plan and profile. Plan and profile, same. Okay. Then it comes in different scales. Let's see what scale was here. This scale is. I click on the viewport and I click on control one I will see the the scale so this is one is to 500 one is to 500 so which layout was used here the layout that was used is one is to 500 so this is the layout let's, let's confirm that let's look at the properties again you see the scale is one is to 5,500 I mean Let's take a look at the other ones. Let's take a look at this uh, this other one here. Done with this. Let's just close this. We're not saving it. Plan and production. We are interested in the templates for creating plan and production. And here you will notice that there's some there's some um, some abbreviations. HT. This stands for horizontal. BT stands for vertical block. So sometimes you may have your your information area down here. So this is a horizontal title block. Sometimes you may have your info or your metadata on this side. That is a vertical block. Let's look at profile and see how it looks like. Let's open that. That's how it looks. And here you can see this is the client. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have the consultant's logo. You have your viewports here. Your viewport there. You have your viewport down here. You have a viewport down there. So let's 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 look. A one. One is to five hundred. Let's see whether it's here. A one one. This is IT. So what I want to do is instead of reinventing the wheel, I want to block using this. All right. Yeah. As you can see, I can put my 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 logo as a consultant. I can put a logo. So what we need to do here is to explode this title block. Then this annotation here and we put our logo and we can also remove their client from here and we put our, our own information so the rest is just metadata that we we can reproduce or we can read now so here you can put your join description plan and profile for drainage something to something and then here you can see the ground survey data some some metadata that you can also add then drawn by, say drawn by, 
influence and by verified by director basically it's giving you a hint on how this uh, logo will look like once it is used uh, to produce drawings so let's let's explore this to see how we can create our own our own uh, set of blocks so let's explode so i'll explode this here the text is now singular and i will delete that text I'll delete that text and i'll put my own logo let's add save. my logo control c put it here bring it through bring it in through a reference or you can just bring it in by pasting like that very clear let's use it now Person, not this, it, this logo. Logo, let's assume all Spark Agency. I copy that and I bring it here as well. I can expand this. Let's say I delete that text. Sorry. Only want to delete this and this. I delete them. So that means you can see now we have we have a different title block than the one simply changing the, the logos this other information is relevant to change the logo the name it whatever we want now what i will that i will save this as as my template so what we need to do for you to have all the layouts with your logos or with your customized title block you will need to change all this you need to explore all these blocks go and change it to your own logo but for now for demonstration sake we are just dealing with the layout a1 500 i will save the whole drawing as a template because i want to use this so that we demonstrate how this has become save us Change it to a template. Call it. One. A1500. One 500. Let's save it together with the other. Let's, oh, let's get into. Let's save it here together with the other. Save it. Good for now. There is a. Now oh, let's go to. Produce our view frames. Try to. Let's let's uh, delete this one. Let's let's try to record frames. Good. Yeah. Frames.
ya a ver si Ed. next and I'm profile so this is where I get to choose my title block my template that I have now created so let's pick back here we click on the template for plan and profile sheet we go to this um, area where we can select our we target so this is this is the a1500 we leave these other things at default create view frame there you go you see the same same view frames that we created create same same view frames that we created have been created yeah can use that title uh can use that title block that title block template to then create let's create the sheets With the new sheets in the current drawing. I want to show the north arrow. I can put the north arrow if I north arrow there. Next. Well views. Well and plan view. I can align them even at this. As that to complete this process, your current drawing will be saved. I'm okay with saved. To allow the creation to be done. Let's go to the first sheet and see a plan and profile. So here we have a sheet set manager. Double click on that. You can see plan and profile has been created similar to the one we just use the same same criteria we've created now so this logo can't be seen. so we can those are not being seen but Open them. There you go. There you have them. Now we have our own little block that we've created with our own data. Okay. Now it's just a matter of changing this or tweaking this now to be relevant to our project. That's how you simply create that your own title blocks. All you need is your two logos, your client's logo and your logo, and you can create your blocks you by not reinventing the wheel. So if you like this, please comment and tell us how you can do it better or how we can do it better. Uh, ask any questions if you have. Please also remember to like and subscribe and to watch the other videos.